Working in clinical practice on a day-to-day -day basis, I, I see many conditions which we still haven't got answers for. Well, I think we've got pockets of fantastic cancer researchers spread out across the universities and the hospital. The opportunity of my job is to bring those people together and really try and get research going from the bench to the bedside. Well, we've always given small amounts to charities over a long period of time, but it wasn't until my wife got cancer that we realised just the significance of, of the need for medical research. The sort of people and the sort of equipment we're after costs lots of money. It's, a, it's an arms race research. Those that have the biggest toys uh, do the best research. I found a website called igive1percent.org and it talked about giving not a percentage of your income, but a percentage of your net wealth. So whether you have $100,000 or $10 million, 1% is a meaningful amount, but you're always left with 99%. So it wasn't a big ask. There is exceptional research being undertaken here in Canberra. We have an opportunity to make a, a great difference, and particularly with the work that Ross Hannon is undertaking here. This is a very special piece of research. We have a collaboration between very driven clinicians and superb scientists. We have a single um, supplier of, of cancer therapy here in town, and so we can really collaborate well and um, you know do first-rate research. So the media priority is twofold. One is I want to get fantastic clinician scientists in from around the world into Canberra to have bridge the gap between the basic research scientists and the hospital. And secondly, I want to set up a drug screening facility to develop our own drugs here in Canberra. It's a fantastic cause and I'm very happy to be part of it. I'm on the board of the foundation. We're doing wonderful work, but we need to do more. I'd really love to see that cancer research has been accelerated and some of my patients have gained the benefits of the work that we have done here in Canberra and at the ANU. Well, it's well known that if you're doing translational research within a hospital, that patients have better outcomes. They get better access to new drugs and new clinical trials earlier. So we hope that this will translate to real outcomes for the patients in the cancer hospital.